you guys are out on the road now. Again, it has it changed? I mean, since the pandemic and everything, now you're out. I mean, what's different now in 2023 for you guys? Well, I, I think we learn all kinds of new ways to, to travel, uh, you know, how to, how to, you know, find the day uh, proper enough for you personally, you know, whether it be your phone, you know, whether you want to just chill doing something, you know, everybody has like new ways of getting it done uh, for a length of time. You know, you've been out for a long time, you know, you take five, six weeks out and, you know, you just try your best to make make things as comfortable and uh, and productive as you possibly can. I try to enjoy myself. Chris and I will enjoy ourselves to the max. You know, even when there's a lot of things going down that maybe not be favorable, just you really, really just push and push, man, because nobody cares at the end of the day as long as you don't. If you bring it, that's all that matters, but there's a lot going on. Of uh, Travel, too. I mean, we finally had our first uh, double-decker bus. In the States, you know, in Europe, we had them. But this year, last year, man, it was amazing having the bus like that. Everybody can go on one bus. And I like the double-deckers, you know? When you have a good bus, it makes a difference. Because I, I, I love getting in a bus that's got a comfortable bunk, and you can just create your own world. I love it. I, I just, it's, we would travel through the night. It was great. <laughs> Sleep is good, right? Not a good, if you can get some sleep, if you can get any sleep. Oh my God, really have, I'm a right? horrible sleeper. I sleep like three hours, wake up, go back to sleep, wake up, go back to sleep, wake up, go back to sleep, wake up. Because I'm so hyper, but I try to, if I add it all up and I get seven or eight hours, I'm rocking. How about you? Are you good with sleep? I'm with you on that. Some days I, man, I, I can pound it, but I try to stay up too late because once it gets too late, then I really fall into a, a kind of a stupor somehow. I try not to do the naps too. The naps mess me right up. I could be a totally fog. Oh, if I if I slept too long, maybe lay down for a little while if I had to, but I try not to nap because that'll take me right out. But I think the bunks, you know, while we're riding, you get that motion, it kind of puts me to sleep. Where do you like to have your bunk? In the middle, at the front, or the back? And do you like to be on the bottom or the top? Because everybody's got their weird preference. Back passenger side, up top. I like <laughs> I like being up top. But now when I had vertigo, I had that for six no, days. No, that sounds vertigo? horrible. Un, un, unbelievable. It's I, I actually sang with vertigo. I woke up one morning. I couldn't even get out of the bus. I was stuck in my bunk, and I and I and the bus was flipping, and I had to call somebody because I said I can't get out of my bunk. I'm, I was petrified and I sang through it. And it was really weird to be able to try to get through the night without really moving too far. And it's a really radical thing to have vertical. How did you even keep your balance? I hear that, you know, when you get vertical, I mean, you can't. Oh, uh, it was hard, man. Stuff was shifting and you get real sick, man. I tried to get sick. I slept straight up in the back of the bus for days because I couldn't lay, there's no way I could lay down or I would be, I would be, oh my God, it'd be unbelievable. It wouldn't be like being on a Ferris wheel with no, no stopping. Wow. That, you know, I don't know where that comes from. Isn't it the crystals in your ear or something? That... Yeah. Something in the air. Yeah. Right. Weird. Yeah. And you try to, you turn to the side, there's these things and yeah, man, I just would just, Get sick, 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 and it's like enough already. I got, I got to just, you know, got to get through it here. How'd you get over it? How'd you get past it? You just go away? Yeah, yeah just eventually you, you finally start to get out of it, you know. But you really feel just awful, you know. You're really just sluggish and and just kind of delirious and in your own way because it's just like a constant headache too, you know. But but I, you know. I, you know, I've had the flus too. I've had, you know, I've, I've been on, you know, I remember Oz, when we were out with Ozzy, he even had a, we both had like the flu. You just go out there, you do it and you run back to your bunk and, you know, you sweat it out and do what you can, but only canceled the second time. The first time was a nasal infection. The second time was COVID, you know, and that, what are you going to do? You know, it just, it took you from here to here, both, you know, I, I got through it. But it was, it, man, it just seized me right up. 
that's the way I've always been. You know, you know, it's that type of thing. I remember once being on tour in Europe and I had right before I went on stage, all of a sudden I got the flu and I was puking and crap in my pants. And you go on stage, you get through it, and then you go back to puking and crapping in your pants. But, you know, what are you going to do? 